Two. Just get up of the soap but and start with your body first as a woman. Let's do some styles quick. Okay, now we're ready to do the conga. Any move you want. Just feel the beat dancing. And we can sing to the conga. To the conga. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Today guys, we're looking at something very cool that your minds will be blown. What do you think it might be? Hmm, you can tell us in like Instagram or anything. Well, drum roll please. that I made. Here it is. It's a blue crystal I made. And like here it's got like some clips which some are see-through which is cool. But I just added some I just added some colour because see-through ones are just kind of boring because it has no colour. But this one's actually cool. I was expecting it pink but it's blue and blue is still a cool colour. Well, anyways, let's get back to our African diamonds. So, Raya, are there really diamonds in Africa? Yes, they are. I thought that that is so cool to have diamonds that I haven't seen a real diamond, but I have seen a crystal, which is kind of similar. But I think diamonds are cool that you can make a crop. Well, we might like go to Africa and then like dig to find some crystals and then take a picture of it and then put it back because we don't want to take it so yes there are real diamonds in Africa and it will be great to see one in real life guys if you've ever been to Africa let me know if you see any diamonds there because that would be awesome Africa is one of the most biggest suppliers of diamonds in the world <sighs> all right guys before i get into this video i need you to do one little thing right now because if you don't do it Anyway, you know what that one thing is? If you watch the other episodes or whatever, you might know what this is, or you would know. Make sure you smash the thumbs up and subscribe the button down below. Family. South Africa is the major source of diamonds. The Democratic Republic of Congo, Congo, Ghana, Namibia, and Angola are other major suppliers of diamonds around the world. But wait, I want to tell you one little thing. Let, since I'm talking about Congo and I think it's a funny word, I'm gonna do a Congo dance. Okay, you can join it too. Just get up of the sofa and start with your body first as a woman. Let's do some styles quick. Okay, now we're ready to do the Congo. Any move you want, just feel the beat dancing. 
now we can sing to the conga, to the conga. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. To the conga, 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 to the conga. That was what created millions and millions and millions years ago in molten lava. Then, if you wanna hear about the, the about the lava, stay tuned because this is the epic part. Of Below to the Earth's surface, then it's known as pipes. It cooled and solidified. Do you mean solidified? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it came like a blue rock. <gasps> Kimberlite contains diamonds. Most of the diamonds we mine today are from African countries. In the 19th century, large diamond deposit was found in South Africa. So the Deep Beers Company was founded in 1888 by Cecil Rhodes to mine and dispute diamonds. It quickly became the largest supplier of diamonds in the world. When the Kimberlite containing diamonds is mined, large sharks are sunken into the ground a short way away from the blue ground pipe. Tunnels are then dug from the shaft to the pipe. Lifts then take the kimberlite above ground where it is processed and the diamonds are extracted. The shaft of the Kimberley mine in South Africa is more than 3,500 feet deep. Pipe mines are found in South Africa and Tanzania. In other parts of Africa, diamonds are found on soil or sediment under running water. In 1962 though, diamonds were taken from the ocean for the first time off the coast of Zambia. This is done by sending a large rubber hose to the ocean floor and the hose sucks up the gravel like a vacuum. On average, a ton of gravel contains one diamond, which is better than mining kimberlite, which sometimes takes 20 tons to find one diamond and if you're in England some diamonds are hidden in here like underneath the ground so get your shovels or whatever to start digging and you might find a diamond that you might get to like um, you get to keep it and find it or you could like give it to the shop and like just give it back do something with it. Or you could do whatever you want with those If I would do it, I would just like wash it, keep it in my room. Just I don't know what I would do with just a crystal lime in my room. Just it would be awesome. It could be a decoration for Christmas or something. Or something. I don't, don't know. From Africa, diamonds are sold all around the world. They're used mostly in jewelry and are worth a lot of money. Maybe then we can get a diamond and then when we're paying for stuff at the shop, then we could give it a diamond. One of the world's most expensive diamonds is the colouring diamond. It's worth millions and 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 millions of guys. That is so expensive that you might lose all of your money. Would you like to buy a diamond that much to lose all of your money? What would you do with the diamond? I would say, I would like just buy cheap diamonds. I'm not sure if diamonds are cheap or expensive for real. I just don't know, so I would just keep all my money so that I could buy like a mansion, relax, instead of just wasting my money on just one diamond. Also have the Camino. Diamond. And this is meant to be precious. That um, I think this diamond is expensive too. That you could lose all of your money. Wow, what an enjoyable video of diamonds, guys! I hope you enjoyed it. And I just wish I could talk more about these amazing diamonds. And yeah, but unfortunately, we have ran out of time. 
I wish your friends could come to my house and make a diamond with me too. But it is what it is. So, we have ran out of time like I just said. What am I repeating what I'm saying? Um, so, I hope you like watching this video on Kids Black History. And um, make sure you smash the thumbs up and subscribe the button down below. Don't forget to don't forget to check out all our other episodes of Kids Back History, and don't forget to check out Ray of Family, Ray of Family, and um, let me know which video is your favorite of Kids Back History and Ray of Family. You might have more than one, you never know. Right now, my favorite one of Ray of Family, I think, is the Christmas one, cause. If you have seen it, I'm not going to spoil it, but I'll just tell you one more thing. I prank my uncle on Christmas and it go. If you haven't seen that, then you should go watch that right now because it is epic. And I think my favourite one is the Super Soaker. The one I sprayed my mom really hard as she went soaked in. And, and when I ran out of water, I just took. But I just took her gun and then just took it and then started spraying it at her. And at the time, that was fun. So, um, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye, guys. I hope you enjoyed talking about diamonds. So this was my most favorite as well. Now this is going to be my favorite one of the diamonds. Well, bye. Peace. Bye, 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 bye.